We have a special focus today following the tragic flooding across Texas. We'll focus on flooding starting first with uh, how climate change is impacting flood frequency in Texas and then taking a wider national view. Our first article from ABC News focuses on rainfall in Texas and how Brett, that's becoming more frequent with climate change, becoming more intense as well. Yeah, not surprising. Uh, we've been studying climate change for many, many years, decades, and one of the biggest impacts uh, scientists have noted going way back in time was the increase in extreme rainfall events due to the increase in water vapor. Warmer air holds more water vapor. More water vapor means a higher potential for heavy rainfall events. Yeah, and these heavy rainfall events, would not necessarily, we, we, we can't necessarily say that one is caused by climate change, like this most recent uh, tragic event where over 100 people have lost their lives. Uh, but we can say that they're amplified by climate change, mm -hmm. uh, certainly more intense, more frequent. What about Texas in particular makes it prone to these heavy rainfall events? Yeah, well, another indirect uh, impact from climate change is severe drought. And this area was under severe to extreme drought, Dan, uh, just before the flood. So the soil was very hard and dry. Also, the soil underneath, uh, underneath soil, it's limestone. So it's like raining onto concrete. It has nowhere to go other than down the river very quickly. And that's certainly added to the problem there. And of course, the hills funnel the water through these small river valleys. So a lot of factors that cause it from a meteorology standpoint, obviously climate change adding mm -hmm. to the intensity and frequency of these flooding events, not just in Texas, but nationally, as our second story from NPR shows about floods getting more dangerous across the country. Brett, uh, the sort of the same phenomenon in Texas occurs across the U.S. and the world, really, with the, moisture, the atmosphere holding more moisture. Yeah, more moisture. We're seeing, again, a greater amount of land area being affected by these extreme rainfall events across the entire U.S., a few spots getting a little bit lower, but in general, notable increase. And in Texas itself, what we've seen is since the 1950s, a 20 percent increase in some of these extreme rainfall events. And so there's more water happening, more water. or, or yeah, so more water falling from the sky during these heaviest rainfall events. Uh, some of the data that we use to determine how much rain can fall in the heaviest 1% of cases is not up to date either. Yeah, that's a big problem because uh, we count on that data, the newest data to make decisions on infrastructure and safety and all that. And, and if the data is, if it's outdated, you're looking at old data from the 1970s, 80s when it doesn't reflect what's currently going on. So in addition to Texas, what areas of the country are also more prone to these uh, heavier rainfall events going forward? Yeah, Tennessee Valley, we're seeing uh, projecting a 20 to 40 percent increase in these rainfall events, also parts of New England. So certainly not a Texas only no. phenomenon. Uh, really, a lot of the U.S. Uh, may experience those heaviest rainfall days becoming even heavier right. in the future. Thank you, Brett, for those insights. For other information about climate and stories, you can find that at AccuWeather.com climate.